Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope that you're having an amazing day. I'm thrilled and honored to be connecting in with you, and I think it's so important that we remember to take time and connect in, especially with those things that we are dealing with right now in society, around the world, in our families. It's so important that we remember to connect in, that we really choose purposely and mindfully what we're allowing to pour into us, to support us, to empower us on our journey. And sometimes it's easy to get caught up in the noise or caught up in things that are happening around us. And I want to encourage you today to choose how you respond and how you're going to be in all of this. Who are you choosing to be? How are you choosing to step forward? What are you adding to the conversation? What are you adding to the world and how you're being and showing up? And bringing forth, because we all have choices every single day on how we choose to be, what we choose to respond to, and what we choose to echo forward. And I'm so honored that you're leaning into us and giving us an opportunity to connect in with you so that we can support each other on the journey to continue to bring forward those things that matter most to each and every one of you. And I believe part of doing that means to be mindful, purposeful, to remember to take a deep breath and center before we react. Instead, we can choose to respond, to move forward in ways that are powerful to you. Today, we're talking with amazing experts that came together. So I think it's so beautiful what can and powerful what can be created when we come together around project management, bringing wisdom, tips and insights. And this is for all of us in all walks of life, in all business sizes, learning how to bring things forward when we're doing that in a combined collaborative way. How do we keep things moving forward? And this powerful book that they created and has been released focused on project management is going to help us do that. So it's so timely. It's so powerful. And I'm excited to be able to share them with you today. But before we get started, let's take a deep breath. Let's focus. Connect in so you're able to get everything that is here for you today. Let's be safe. Let's put both feet on the floor. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Out through your mouth like through a straw. Wonderful. Keep breathing. This kind of breathing helps lower your cortisol levels. Your stress levels can bring you very present. Keep breathing brings oxygen to every cell in your body which also helps you have clearer thinking, be more centered, present, grounded. Let's put one hand on our heart, one hand on our head, bringing this all in, mind, body, soul, and spirit. And then, for those of you who are able and it's safe, close your eyes so you're not distracted, you're fully tuned in. And in this space, What is it you need today? Real time. What is it that will encourage you, empower you, support you? What do you need today that you are willing to receive? Because you have choice. What do you need that you are willing to receive? Unattached to how? I haven't asked you how. That's a separate conversation. This is identifying, have clarity around what it is that you need and are open and willing to receive. And in fact, the how part, you're actually looking forward to it being met in a wonderful and unexpected way. You want to be surprised by how this need is met. So you don't have to worry about the how. 
You just have to have clarity on what it is you need and be open to receiving. Beautiful. Let's take a breath. Come back into the room. Eyes open, fully present. Great. And we're going to go around our virtual room here. And as we do that, I'm going to invite each of our amazing experts to just share. When they took a moment and they listened to their heart, heartbeat to heartbeat, woman to woman, what was laid on their heart? Just in 10, 15, 20 seconds, what is it that was on your heart that you want to share? And with that, Dr. Teresa, I'd love to start with you. You know, uh, I'm very grateful to say that um, I don't feel like I need much, but what was laid on my heart was just the continual feeling of peace. Mm. And um, in these uh, uncertain times, uh, I have uh, what I think is an abnormal level of peace, and I just want that to continue. Beautiful. I I appreciate that because I love that you're acknowledging it and appreciating and, and then asking for it to continue. Beautiful. I celebrate that, and I appreciate that. Thank you. Yes. How about you, Dr. Yvonne? What was laid on your heart? What is laid on my heart is, as an educator, right now a lot of the students are, are at home, and we are living in uncertain times and not quite sure about direction for the future. And I think that... Um, being able to be present in the moment and be able to clear one's thoughts of um, something that you're passionate about and just focus on that and the some kind of, of plan to move forward in a positive light, especially in these times of difficulty. We need to be positive and not lose faith that, that things will work themselves out. Thank you. Really important reminder that um, we can focus on the positive and we can put together a positive action because I think sometimes we can feel out of control and, and, not, and, and that can create fear sometimes. So I love how you are reminding us to clear our minds and that it will be okay and to be focused on that and have a plan to move forward in a positive direction. Wonderful. Thank you. You're welcome. Dr. Cheryl, how about you? What was laid on your heart? What I need to know is to be useful and to be of service to others. It is a a challenge when we have the answers to what often ails many people, as Dr. Yvonne had said, we're educators. We have been doing a lot of things for more than 20 years that people are having to learn in 20 minutes. I want to be useful to them so that they don't have to re reinvent the wheel and they know us help is on the way and we can reach out to them and support them in these difficult times and know they're going to be fine because we can help. Thank you. What an important reminder that we are not alone, (laughs) that we can have help. We can lean into reaching out to each other and that there are people that will walk beside us that have information and tools and resources that are supportive. So thank you. I think we are we are far more connected and able to connect than we realize. So I appreciate that. And I appreciate that, just that deep heart feel to be useful, to serve, to support. Thank you for sharing. And the listeners, how about you? What was laid on your heart when you took a moment to stop, pause, and listen? What is being laid on your heart? Sometimes in all the noise, we can forget to listen to what is being placed on our heart. So as we get ready to go to our first commercial break, and those commercials are playing in the background with information updates to inform you and support you, I encourage you to use these two minutes for you to be still, to listen, to receive what is on your heart. And I want you to feel the connection from all of us here with you, supporting you, encouraging you, uplifting you, and know that we are here for you to support you, especially during these times. And we'll look forward to continuing our conversation in just two minutes. Be sure to friend us on Facebook. You can do it right now. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America or search for us at keyword Voice America. 
announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Get Unchained. Tune in every Monday for Jane Unchained on the Voice America Influencers Channel. Featuring nationally recognized, best-selling author, TV journalist, and social media influencer, Jane Velez Mitchell. This program takes you inside a trending lifestyle that's the next wave of human evolution. It all starts on your plate. If you want to revolutionize your life, get happier, more energized, then discover the secret. Tune in to Jane Unchained Mondays at 10 a.m. Pacific Time and 1 p.m. Eastern Time on the Voice America Influencers influencers channel. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at speakertalentsearch.com. That's speakertalentsearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Have you had a chance to check out Voice America's online magazine and blog? If you love our hosts and shows, check out articles that give an even deeper perspective, plus topics about health and fitness, movie reviews, philosophy, business tips and tactics, spirituality, positive thought, current events, and even more about your favorite host. It's just a click away at blog.voiceamerica.com. That's blog.voiceamerica.com. The Voice America Press Blog. All access, all the time. We don't follow, we lead. Join us, the Voice America Influencers Channel. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-472-5795. That's 1-866-472-5795. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes that it gave you an opportunity to stop pause, breathe, and center, and really listen to what is being spoken into your heart and spirit about what matters to you, what you need, what it is you're wanting to bring forward. And we have just powerful experts that are joining us today that have come together and created an amazing book about project management. And um, Dr. Lentz, who's the leader of this project, she reminded me, now, Rebecca, it's not available yet. So I, to me, it's already alive and ready. <laughs> so I want everyone, as you are learning about this book, to save a special date on your calendar. It's April 2nd. That's when the book will be released. And when it's released, it's going to be offered for a special $1 rate for the first 24, maybe 48 hours. So please make sure to mark Mark, April 2nd on the calendar, um, that will be an opportunity that you're going to be able to get it at that special launching rate. And I want this book to go out to as many people as it can serve. And I'm very excited to have um, so many of the authors joining us today. So let me introduce Dr. Cheryl Lentz, who's the compiler and leader of this amazing book. She is known as the Academic Entrepreneur and has been recognized globally for her writings on leadership and critical and refractive thinking. She has published more than, and hear this number, more than 43 times, four, three, more than 43 times with 23 writing awards. She's an accomplished university professor and speaker and consultant, a number one international bestselling author, and has been quoted as a top professional on ABC, CBS, NBC, and Fox. She is passionate about education and moving forward no matter what comes your way. Please lean in and warmly, warmly welcome the powerful Dr. Cheryl Lentz to the show. Welcome! 
introduction, it just puts such a smile on my face to get such passion and good energy out in the world. So thank you so much for having us. And I'm really thrilled to bring this project to you. First and foremost, the name of the book is called The Refractive Thinker, Volume 18, Project Management, Strategies to Enhance Workflow and Productivity. And we will, I will talk to you shortly about the chapter that I'm also not only compiler, but also author. And I have some of my co-authors with us on the show today. It's very exciting. This is our first uh, volume where we have a NASA astronaut who has write, written the forward for us, Andrew Allen, who is actually the director of the Kennedy Space Center. And we are thrilled to have this in new heights, pun intended to be able to take us to the idea of why we did this book in the first place, which is to look at the different, think of this as Shakespeare, our friend Shakespeare, rose is a rose is a rose. Does it really matter what we call it in terms of project management? Because project management is all about system thinking. It's all about the process, the way of connecting uh, needs to outcomes. Here's what we need to do. Here's how we do it so that we can get to the outcome and the finished project and all of the wonderful things that happens when you actually, what Seth Golden calls, ship it. And so what we did is compile a list of doctoral scholars from around the globe to be able to put together not only this series, but this specific chapter. And here's why. We have noticed that educators that are in the space, we are doctoral level researchers who are required to do research, and we do it regularly, as you notice, the amount of times I've published, but there's a need for that. But the challenge becomes that sometimes that need gets stuck in academia, and the reason for that is it can have a lot of, lot of words, a lot of formulas, a lot of chapters, a lot of meaning for this research, but it can get stuck in a lot of what we call academic gobbledygook. Not that what we don't do isn't important, but we want to be able to translate it to put it into news you can use. And so our chapter we have is called The Impact of Educational Curriculum Design by my colleagues, Dr. Amy Yoder, Dr. Yvonne Gonzalez, and Dr. Teresa Sanders. The four of us collaborated to be able to look at project management, which seems to be a business term, and to put it into the process of an academic term. And that is the Beautiful. meaning that we still use the same fundamentals of project management as we do things when we design curriculum for students, when we Beautiful. decide their project-level outcomes, their educational level outcomes, their course level outcomes. And so we want to be able to go back to our friend Shakespeare and show, does it matter what we call it if the processes and the fundamentals are the same? And we propose a chapter that's very unique, and I'll have my colleagues allude to more of the content as we go forward, but it really is the ability to connect business with academia. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. And I know your whole um, refractive thinker series does that. It brings these this amazing information that has been researched and discovered in the world, the academic world, and is bringing it forward so that we can use it around the world in all different types of industries. So thank you so much for your vision, your mission to bring this forward. I'm excited to talk with each of you about the amazing chapter that you have come together to create. Thank you so much for sharing your vision, a little bit about the book. And um, I'm going to have, let's see, Dr. Teresa, I'm going to introduce you and I'd love for you to share a little bit about uh, the chapter title. And then I'd love for you to share a little bit about why you're excited. But let me introduce you. So Dr. Teresa E. Sanders has 20 plus years experience in community mental health and has been an educator for 14 years, founder owner of Safari Small Schools. Dr. Teresa provides support and training to parents and children to restore order in the home and achievement in academics. She's an international best-selling author and has been featured on radio and media outlets. She is passionate about education. Please lean in and warmly welcome the powerful Dr. Teresa E. Sanders to the show. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. You are welcome. I'm thrilled to have you joining us. I'd love to sh have you share the chapter title because I know you all came together to bring a powerful chapter forward and something the reader can look forward to experiencing and learning in your section. Well, in, in my section, um, I my part of the chapter is student achievement, mm -hmm. and uh, that's an important part of looking at uh, curriculum design as a project because you need to know where we are currently. So my part looks at the historical and uh, current performance statistics 
for uh, students in, uh, in America. It also looks at it also looks at American students' global performance as well. It considers the potential impact um, on the current and future needs of not only the students but communities and the nation um, overall. And the statistics also reflects the need for a new uh, approach to curriculum design. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Thank you. And and that is so true. We really need to know our history. We need to know what has gone before and we need to know where we're at. <laughs> so if we're looking at bringing something forward. So it's important to have clarity around that. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. And what is something you hope readers gain from this? Uh, I'm, I'm really, really hopeful that um, a fresh a fresh approach to looking at curriculum that really evolves with generations. Um, I hope that that will enable um, curriculum designers to really develop a, pro- a pro- develop a product that truly meets the needs of the class of students that it serves. And mm-hmm. by class, I don't mean class, I just mean by the body of students it serves. So sure. hopefully, I'm really excited that um, educators will be able to look at this and will be able to say, you know, uh, curriculum design hasn't really evolved, you know, over the generations. We, uh, Amy did a great job of pointing out, you know, we have um, a, a whole generation of learners who have always had access to technology. Yes. And our curriculum design doesn't really reflect that reality. And so when we consider what we're going to teach and how we're going to teach it, uh, you know, Dr. Yoder, Amy had really made a good point. She had said that our students... Or how does this affect me right here, right now? And if they can't make a connection, they just keep scrolling. Mm. And so that's where we need to take curriculum design and we need to take the way uh, our current generation of students think and behave. And we need to design with that reality incorporated. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate that. Um, And I think it is important that we look at technology and the impact and how that can be um, served with curriculum, but served in our businesses, served in how we're looking at bringing all the things forward that we're looking to bring forward, both in curriculum, education, in our businesses and our lives. So thank you. I appreciate you sharing. And then, thank you. Absolutely, absolutely. Dr. Yvonne Gonzalez, I'm excited to introduce you. Uh, Dr. Yvonne Gonzalez has a doctoral degree in education leadership, and she is an international best selling author. She has been featured on radio and in media. 20 plus years experience in public education, currently is co-teaching in public education and providing bilingual support to teachers and at-risk students. She is an adjunct faculty member for the University of Phoenix and is passionate about teachers and students reaching a high level of success. Can we please lean in and warmly welcome the powerful Dr. Yvonne Gonzalez to the show. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I am so happy to be here. I'm thrilled to have you here. And I'd love for you to share a little bit about why you decided to be part of this project and what we can look forward to learning or discovering in the part you contributed to the chapter, the the section that you supported. Okay. Well, I'd like to piggyback a little bit on my colleague, Dr. Cheryl. Sure. She um, said that the, the focus of our, of our project and our chapter here is to um, give a little bit of an educational perspective into the business world of, of project management. And how that affects education is, as educators, we need to, or, or we are responsible to um, help students be successful in becoming uh, 
uh, contributing members of the workforce. We need to prepare them at the school level so that one day they're successful in whatever it is that they do um, after high school. And so that's very, very important. And so what the the focus is on curriculum design is, is it are we really, really getting those outcomes that the curriculum is supposed to be designed to master? So in, as Dr. Teresa said, we now have um, much diversity in the world, and that diversity trickles into the classrooms. And so students, that we have different students with different levels of experiences, different um, family makeups, we have different cultural uh, backgrounds, uh, linguistic backgrounds, and so it's important for us to embrace that diversity so that we can uh, put forth the best opportunity to help them be successful. And so what my contribution was is that we we take those diverse uh, factors, so to speak, mm-hmm. and and we celebrate all of those in within the classroom. You don't have to do anything um, specific, but I'd like to share with you an example of how at an elementary campus, um, diversity is being celebrated. And what they do is within the curriculum of teaching the standards, we, we have eating around the world. So the students take um, a different uh, area around the world, and then food is created. They each bring in a dish, and so they get to sample food from around the world, and so they're able to celebrate those cultures in mm. food. We have another culture where we celebrate traditions. You know, Hispanics have a certain tradition, and there's uh, different traditions that are celebrated. So all of those things are really, really important with the the makeup of the diversity mm-hmm. of the student population. And if we are sensitive to those things, we're going to have more of a workforce that is sensitive to those things and that in hopes will turn out to be, to have better business practices overall. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. And I appreciate those examples. And as we are speaking to the world today and we're connected on a global level, I love remembering how connected we are and celebrating the parts of us that are different and and bringing those together and honoring them. And I think that creates a stronger connection, a more powerful world. And and all of us, I think, are served by that and, and get to shine in all the different ways that we've been made and our experiences add to and that we get to decide to bring forward. So, Thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate it. We're getting ready to go to our next commercial break. And as we do that, I want to encourage each of you to take a moment, these two minutes, to stop and pause and breathe and take in what's been shared. See how that's what is being spoken to you within this conversation information, insights, thoughts, take a moment to really process them, take them in, reflect on them. And then we will continue the conversation in just two minutes. Think you've seen everything there is to see in online television? Let us surprise you. Visit voiceamerica.tv today for sports, health, business, and more on demand 24-7. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Sustainable success is just around the corner. If you are an entrepreneur, business leader, or anybody looking for their next level of success, tune into Sustainable Success with host Chris Salem. Did you know that the path to success is a long path that started many years ago? The path you started on then determines what is happening now. Chris and his amazing guests in their field will help you navigate the path to sustainable success every Thursday at 12 noon Eastern Time and 9 a.m. Pacific on the Voice America Influencers Channel. 
announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Tune in to the Voice America Variety Channel on the Voice America Talk Radio Network. Voice America Variety broadcasts a diverse array of topics, reaching a global community. Our experts come from all walks of life, and the topics they discuss are everything from current events, arts and entertainment, leadership, parenting, relationships, self-improvement, career advice, and a variety of other topics. Check us out today. You're sure to find something of interest. Voice America Variety. Talk on today's hot topics. Change starts here. Change starts now. Join us. The Voice America Influencers Channel. Listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1 866 472 5795. That's 1 866 472 5795. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes. We have been talking with authors from a soon-to-be-released book. April 2nd is the magic date. Please make sure to mark that on your calendars, April 2nd. And it's Volume 18 of the Refractive Thinker, Volume 18. Dr. Cheryl, make sure I get this right. Project Management. Did I get that right? Dr. Cheryl? Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, great. And we've been talking about what we can look forward to in the book, what um, kind of brought the book together, why that was important. And behind the scenes, I talked with each of our amazing authors and I said, you know, can we bring something forward, something that everyone today, regardless of their walk of life, whether they're in business, they um, have children, they don't have children, they're in education, they're in a different part of the world. What is something that they can look forward to really supporting them in a positive way during these times from your section in the book? And they all leaned in and said yes, and started sharing with great passion and heart, um, what was laid on their heart that they wanted to share with you that they um, know you will gain from their section. And so I'd love to start with, um, let's start with Dr. Yvonne Gonzalez. Can you share um, what will help people in today's world, regardless of whether they're in education or not, if they have children or not, just Globally, what is something they are really going to gain um, from your section? I think that from from our section or from my section, it, it's a, a respect for diversity, a respect to celebrate differences, and not necessarily as hindrances, but as um, steps forward in these. Uh, times of uncertainty, it's very important that we support one another because not everybody is struggling with the same things. There's different people that struggle with different things. Some may be struggling medically. Some may be struggling financially, spiritually. There may be um, elevated levels of anxiety. And it's all of those things. And if we are just careful if we're careful with our words, we're careful with our actions, and we just move forward in life with understanding the diverse nature of different needs, uh, different cultures, uh, different struggles, we're going to be more sensitive as a people. Yes. And if we're more sensitive as a people, then it's easier to deal with these struggles that we don't know. Um, at this point, there's just a, a level of uncertainty. So it mm-hmm. just gives us a more positive way, a more loving way to move forward in these times. 
Beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing and being extra sensitive and careful is such great advice. And and as you were sharing that, I also thought it's so important we remember to extend that grace to ourselves too and to be extra kind to ourselves and sensitive to ourselves and others so that we are creating a more positive, careful, thoughtful environment that that we're echoing, echoing around the world. Um, I appreciate your sharing and embrace us being more sensitive and to the needs that may be different than what our needs or our challenges are during these times. Thank you. You're welcome. And Dr. Teresa, I'd love for you to share. You know, um, just like um, the education statistics gives us an idea of where we were, where Mm -hmm. we are, and how that shapes where we're going, Um, what I'm hoping, especially, you know, where we are in society right here, right now, with all this going on, the way I see it, we have a prime opportunity to apply those same principles to society. Um, I'm going to piggyback off of what uh, Dr. Gonzalez said as it relates Mm -hmm. to people and, and diversity. If we can remember, you know, this is a time for us to come together Mm -hmm. and, you know, we know where we were and, and we know where we are. The only thing we have control of is where we're going. And, what I hope is that that the whole world can take what we can take from this is that let's create what works in society. Let, let's let's apply what we're doing in education in life. Let's create what works and evolve as our surroundings and our experiences and and life evolves around us. Let's make sure that we evolve with it. Mm-hmm. And bring with it a measure of grace and and mercy and forgiveness and acceptance, so everybody can just grow with the process. Everybody can keep moving. Yes, and this is a prime opportunity for us to demonstrate that. Beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. I was here nodding as you were speaking for anyone who couldn't hear that. (laughs) So absolutely. (laughs) I believe this is a a prime opportunity for that. It's so interesting. Dr. and Cheryl and I were having a conversation and Dr. Cheryl, you know, I've talked the last few days, many times. I don't know if it was today or yesterday (laughs) that we had this conversation, but it's in these these challenging times where we are so needed and where we can really keep those connections going, really step forward and make a powerful difference and do that quite deliberately. Whereas when times are easier, there's more certainty or it's not as challenging for us personally, um, it's easier. And during these times, we can really choose to evolve. I love that, Dr. Trace, and grow um, in, in a powerful and positive way that we can choose to do that and bring forward those things that matter most. And it makes a huge difference, especially in challenging and uncertain times. So thank you so much for yeah. sharing. Absolutely. Yeah. And Dr. Cheryl, I'd love for you to add to the conversation as you're reflecting on the chapter and the book and the mission um, and the forward and all the pieces <laughs> that, that go into it because you've been involved in all of them. What is something that you feel like can really apply across the board and support people in moving forward powerfully? I think the dedication we had in the book is probably the culmination of the answer to that question. We have a quote in there by Cornelius Fichtner, and it says, The P in, project, in PM is just about people management as just about project management. And I absolutely love that, to forget that sometimes we get so task-oriented, and I want to make sure that we're relationship-oriented, we're people-oriented, and remember that whomever we are, whether teachers or assembly people or doctors or lawyers, street sweepers, it doesn't matter. We're all people. And this whole idea of coming together for projects is simply systems. We all do what we do well, and we're looking to connect the people part of us so that we can get through the crisis. And I think it's really that simple. 
Beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. And uh, again, everybody, the book is coming out on April 2nd. Um, so please watch for that. We're going to be sharing out special links so that people can lean in and get a copy for that um, first day, the introductory rate for $1. So please put April 2nd on the calendar. And then, uh, Dr. Cheryl, I wanted to take a moment because I know you've been working on a special project that was really laid on your heart as things were unfolding. And it was so laid on your heart that you put together with a number of others who had it laid on their heart. So this is project management. Here's an example of coming together, responding to a need, and bringing it forward in 48 hours. And I'd love for you to share a little bit about this, this tool and what you've brought forward and how people can access it. Thank you so much for this opportunity. We wanted to be useful, and we wanted to know what we could have that we could offer that's in service to others. And a colleague of mine, Dr. Natalie Cassell, who happens to also be in this book, brought an idea to me on Friday morning. Could we publish a guide of all of our words of wisdom to try and help people out, and how quickly could we do it? And the idea was Friday morning at 10. The book was uploaded by Sunday night at 11.18 and around the world Monday morning. And that has got to be and a record just, for all of us. But our- and I just <laughs> want everyone to know this is last Friday. So we're talking Friday the 13th and then available exactly. around the world by Sunday. Is that correct? By, or is it by, by Monday? We uploaded it Sunday it, we uploaded it by Sunday night, and then Amazon mm-hmm. has to do its magic. But we wanted it in everyone's hands uh, Monday morning before classes mm-hmm. started. Uh, and it's called Bricks to Clicks, Best Practices to Transition from the Classroom to Online. Because we know all of the people just on this call with Dr. Teresa and Dr. Yvonne, we've been teaching more than 20 years, and a lot of it in the online world, at least for me, I started with an email address and a, uh, and a VCR tape. That's what Distance Ed was years ago. We didn't want people to struggle with knowledge we had, so we tapped into our collection, our community, and asked what they had that could help others, and then we spent the entire weekend putting it all together and getting it uploaded, and then it is now free and available for people to take advantage, and we also have office hours and emails and anything that we can find to be able to help others and not share, not keep the knowledge to ourselves. If you need it and we have it, let's just get together and make it happen. Beautiful. And I love in this book, you have all kinds of different types of advice, even mindset and being calmer in the home, like all of these things from um, being able to transition to online world, but also um, in an environment that can be challenging. And there's all this different news. And you're looking at all these changes that have shuffled people's lives around. I feel like your book has um, all of these variety of chapters that come together to really support people, give them resources. And um, meet them where they're at. So I want to thank you and all the co-authors that leaned into bringing Bricks to Clicks forward. I want to encourage everybody to look for it on Amazon. It is now available and it's really coming from a place of wanting to serve. And um, anything else you'd like to add to that, Dr. Cheryl? Just want to put it a repeat of a quote that was done by a president of ours years ago with JFK. It's not what you can do for or your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. This is the part that we all have our talents, and it's time to share them. And that's all we were trying to do so that people don't have to suffer with the knowledge we already have that can help. Just think about, you don't have to solve world hunger. You just have to make a sandwich in your world. And if everybody did one thing to help in this crisis, what a world we might live in. Mm, beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing. We are getting ready to go to our next commercial break. And as we do that, I want to encourage each of you to make a note to go check out Bricks to Clicks on Amazon. Make a note about April 2nd when this powerful project management book will be available. And then when we come back, we're going to let you know how you can connect further with our amazing experts. We look forward to talking to you in just two minutes. Follow us on Twitter at VoiceAmericaTRN. Get the lowdown on guests, new shows, and your favorites. That's VoiceAmericaTRN. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. 
Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make Empowered Connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. There's a new force to be reckoned with in talk radio. It's not just talk radio. Hosted by LaTanya Jr. and co-host Tina Wynn and Tony Brown. Not Just Talk Radio is like a superhero. Inspiring, problem-solving, and informing. Packed with action-provoking conversations from news, movements, and social and politics issues. This program is about a wide range of voices and fresh points of view from experts, celebrities, and you, the listener. Not Just Talk Radio is broadcast live Wednesdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific on the Voice America Influencers Channel. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Become a member of VoiceAmerica.com. It's easy and best of all, it's free. Start out by going to our homepage or any of our channels and click register at the top. Once you've created an account and signed in, you can create your own custom library, opt in to our newsletter, search by show, host, guest, or topic of interest, or browse millions of hours of content across all of our Voice America radio channels. Membership gets you more. Visit VoiceAmerica.com today to get started and tailor the listening experience to your taste. We don't follow, we lead. Join us, the Voice America Influencers Channel. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-472-5795. That's 1-866-472-5795. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes that you got an opportunity to... Stop for a moment and process and really take in what is being spoken into your heart, into your spirit. Something that's so powerful about pauses, taking those moments, is it allows you to catch up with yourself because we can have life moving around us so quickly. We can get lost and be an automatic autopilot. It lets you catch up with yourself a little bit and it allows you to process things on a cellular level. A lot of times with breath, that can help. So that when you step forward, you're doing so on purpose. You're doing so in a way that matters to you. Instead of the day running you, you're getting to choose how you move forward in the day. And instead of having this long to-do list, you just add one more thing. When you give yourself those two minutes to process, it starts to become part of you rather than getting on the to-do list. You can actually start to embody what it is that you are taking in and have that become part of you. Instead of increasing your to-do list, you're actually getting to be more of who you are and who you want to be in those two-minute moments. So I encourage you to take them um, throughout the day. I encourage you at the end of today's show, take two minutes for you and really process and choose how you step forward, how you decide to move forward in the day. And I talked with all of our amazing experts behind the scenes. I want you to be able to have access to them and support. We've emphasized throughout today and throughout our time that um, we are connected and we're supporting you that want to be of service. And so I've asked each of our experts to share their contact information so you can continue the connection with them. You can go deeper. Um, So this is just the beginning. And if they had a tip or a quote or a reminder, I asked them to share that with us too. So we could take that as we get ready to go back out into the world. So with that, let's start with Dr. Teresa. How can we stay in touch and go deeper? Be sure to put that E in the middle. So it's T-E-R-E-S-A-E Sanders at gmail.com. 
And uh, my thought to leave everyone with is is just really simple that, you know, in these, you know, different times right now, it's okay to not be okay. We can take that cape off and take this one day at a time. It's okay to not be 100% when we have so much going on. So, you know, rest and don't be afraid to ask for some help if you need it. And it's just okay to not be okay sometimes. Perfect. Thank you. Important reminder. Love it. (laughs) And that we can take that cape off. That just felt great. (laughs) So thank you. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Lots of pressure uh, keeping a cape on all the time. So beautiful, beautiful. Um, Dr. Yvonne, what would, how can people stay in touch and what's your reminder as they get ready to go back out in the world? Remember to keep the reminder short. (laughs) Okay. Um, my email is Yvonne, Y-B-O-N-N-E, 1615 at net. Mm-hmm. And I Beautiful. just want to encourage everybody, um, encourage everybody to be passionate about those things that are important to you. Um, if you, if you maintain that passion, it keeps you, uh, focused and steady moving forward and and you're you're more able to give service to your community. Beautiful. Thank you. Be passionate. Lean into that. Beautiful. Thank you. And then, Dr. Cheryl, I'd love for you to share how people can uh, stay in touch, go deeper, and then your and we have to keep it short. We're in the final thirty seconds, <laughs> so um, your your reminder or tip. Type Dr. Cheryl Lentz into Google and you'll find a variety of ways to get in touch with me, so we'll keep it simple. The last point to make is remember, we have another dedication in the Refractive Thinker Project Management book by Gene Krantz. You remember he was a NASA flight director from the fated Apollo 13, and he says, if we can rise to the greatest challenges in history by putting a man on the moon, we can do anything. And I think that's a perfect and apt quote for what we can do now is to rise to that challenge. Mm, Beautiful. Let's take a moment, breathe that in. Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing, all of you, for joining us, leaning in to support all of us and our listeners on our journey. Listeners, I want to thank you for leaning in and being part of our lives, allowing us to connect in with you. And as you get ready to go back out into the world, I want you to remember that you are absolutely needed just as you are. And one of the biggest gifts you can give the world is being willing to stretch out a little bit more, being willing to share a little bit more of who you are, a little bit more of your gifts and your talents and abilities. Be willing to share a little bit more of that. And if we each do that, we can touch each other's lives in such powerful ways and make such a powerful, positive global difference. One reach out at a time, one heart at a time, one share at a time. So wherever you go, whatever you do, be willing to share the gift of who you are. Be willing to bloom where you are planted and shine. Have an amazing week, everyone, and we'll look forward to talking to you next time. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Influencers Channel. And join us for a replay of the show every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine. Find out what's happening on the Voice America Talk Radio Network. Find out about new shows, featured guests, and what's up this week. Find us on Facebook by searching keyword Voice America. We're making it easier to listen to the Voice America Talk Radio Network wherever you go. In addition to listening live, you can check out information about your favorite talk show hosts, discover new talk show personalities, add shows to your list of favorites, and listen to all of our show archives on demand, all from your iOS, Amazon Kindle, or Android device. 
Download it from the Apple App Store, Amazon, or Google Play and get ready to tune in. The Voice America mobile app, powered by Aircast. Whatever the mind can conceive and believe, the mind can achieve. Join us in Arizona on March 5th, 6th, and 7th for the Weekend of Wealth, taught by the Think and Grow Rich Institute president himself and representatives of the Napoleon Hill Foundation. The book Think and Grow Rich was written by Napoleon Hill years ago and remains the go-to book and a continued bestseller for self-help all over the world. Why? Because it works. Over 100 million people have experienced the transforming power of Napoleon Hill's teachings. Now you can too. The Think and Grow Rich Institute Weekend of Wealth is the next step for those who want to truly transform their lives forever. That's www.thinkandgrowricheventbrite.com. www.thinkandgrowricheventbrite.com. Find the three-day workshop in Phoenix, Arizona. There's amazing discounts along with a free youth wealth forum for the children of all attendees. 